Tonight, we're going to be watching a sci-fi classic, Earth vs. the Flying Saucers from 1956, a Ray Harryhausen classic, and if you don't know, now you will know, Ray Harryhausen is the godfather of stop motion animation. Perhaps this movie may be overshadowed by his works on the likes of Jason and the Argonauts, Clash of Titans and his more monster themed related movies, but this guy right here, this is the godfather of alien invasion movies. This is the gangster godfather of fucking flying saucer related, like, 50s sci-fi, like, all of it's this. Uh, I've only watched it once myself, and I remember really, really enjoying it, so we're going to give it a go. We could watch uh, First Men in the Moon, which is another Ray Harryhausen movie, but... I already watched that recently and didn't rewind the tape, so we're going to start with Earth vs. the Flying Saucers. Um, yeah, like you say, it came out in 1956. I think it'll still hold up today, with all these exceptions of it being a movie made in the 50s, but uh, I think it's cool that Ray Harryhausen's special effects are so awesome that um, people don't even say, like, oh, the director, or oh, the writer. It's just, uh, it's just Ray Harryhausen. But he did just do the special effects, so I'll get him a little cheating phone up. The guy who directed this movie is a Fred F. Sears, and this movie was written by about three different, four different people. So we're just going to give Kurt his credit. Anyway, without further ado, adieu, adieu, let's pop this in the... Let's pop this in the day. So, the Earth vs. the Flying Saucer sold up. In short, fuck yeah it did. Uh, I mean, it's textbook. It's, it is, the name is in the title. Earth vs. Flying Saucers. Like, if you want to see a movie where it's a bunch of flying saucers attacking Earth, this is the one. Um, straight from the opening though, it's got that good old 1950s, like, you know, like, info sort of things like all around the world there have been flying saucers sighting all around it's showing like footage of people on planes like looking out the window going ooh as like a saucer flies by and everything it's like what will we do what will the future hold when and then it comes up to the tale when earth versus the flying saucers du, 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 du. see the plot is fairly straightforward i mean the main character is a scientist and his wife We've got really good chemistry. So basically, this scientist guy is like head of a rockets uh, company, and a lot of the rockets that he's been sending in space, they've been getting mysteriously dispeppering. I wonder why. But um, I don't know. It's a weird day because eventually, like the flying saucers do come down, and there was actually you got to see the aliens, which I wasn't expecting. More on them later. But the saucer comes down, and like it's at a military base. Mind you, but <laughs> I like the approach where it's like basically um, the artillery just starts going do do <laughs> like shooting at the aliens. So the aliens are like, all right, fuck you. Um, <laughs> the aliens themselves are uh, they're just kind of like in these fifties sci-fi like you know what I mean. There's no real defining feature. Like, it's just like space suit, balls at the arm and stuff, and they don't have very good mo mobility. Um, it, it later says that they don't weigh a lot, but the whole thing is, is they, they don't have any bend in their arms, but the whole thing is they go like this and then they shoot their braces. It's just this big beam of light and one of two things happens. Either they go woo 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 and disappear, or the beam hits and they just go <laughs> fucking Alderaan style, eh? Um, so yeah, once, once they start getting attacked by Earth's military, <laughs> 
the, the, the aliens, they just start blowing fuck out of everything. And it's, it's, it's really good to watch because they've just got all this stock footage and models of buildings just probably a bomb testing. I don't know. Just <laughs> exploding like a motherfucker. The the sounds are brilliant as well. Um, later goes on to say that that one attack alone killed like something like 500 people or something. So it's like, yo shit, they mean in business. So this first initial attack, it becomes apparent that they've also kidnapped the the general, um, who is homeboy doctor main character's wife's dad. 50s movies are tight like that. Um, but yeah, um, they they're, they're, the aliens are sitting there saying like. Uh, what about our message? You ignored our message. He's like, you know, what? And like, they basically, uh, they basically brain probe the motherfucker. Like, it does this whole like X-ray thing. You see like his brain through his skull and stuff. The effect's cool for the time, and I dig seeing it now. Like, there's a bit where they're making contact, and they send him down because they're like, basically saying like, we know everything about you, and uh, <laughs> kind of like. They're, they're, they're questioning the aliens, like, what about this, and what about that, and they're answering all the questions, how does it know, and it's because it's reading this, like, um, this dude's mind, but when he comes out, it's like they've got his, into his brain, but he's like a fucking zombie sort of thing, so he's like, you know, like, they're using his voice and shit, and, chilling, you know, it's, it's, it's freaky, like, the way he looks, the way, like, the actor's face is totally decomposed, like, they've done nothing, it's just lighting, and, um, the way he's playing it, but it's like, it's like, ooh, I like, I don't really fan, you know, you see a lot of demon possessions and stuff and people getting taken over, but like, that's when we, it's like, it's, that's unsettling, I don't like that, and like, we can do this to more people and stuff, you're like, ooh, these aliens, bad. Now the whole thing is, is like, so at the very start of the movie, when Dr. Homeboy's driving with his missus, they're like, he's recording on a tape, and like, a saucer comes down, and like they, they pick up the sound effect from it on the tape and basically the UFOs, the aliens, they were expecting Dr. Homeboy to like disturb it, which he didn't, so you're kind of sitting there thinking like, huh, maybe this whole thing could have been avoided, but he eventually does disturb it um, and it turns out that the aliens, <laughs> it's not like, oh well Earth shot first so the aliens want peace, it's like no, the aliens still want to take over. They just, they don't want to take over a completely destroyed planet where everyone's scared and dead. They're like, no, like, put us in touch with your leaders. We want to do this peacefully. We've got better weapons than you. We're going to fuck you up. So let's just stay this with a smile. Which, you know, obviously is not going to happen because it's America and it's Earth, but mostly America. Well, uh, UFOs, aliens, they, uh, they give like 50 days or something to surrender really um, but what we do dr homeboy he finds a bit of one of their uh, their suits because uh they're, they're still teetering around i should say that like they're like blowing up uh, military ships and they're coming down landing and stuff like it's like intimidation tactics so there's a bit where one of them comes down and they're able to like the old m1 gun uh, they were able to get one of them uh, which is cool because you get to see him with his helmet off it's, you know what I mean? It's just classic, like, uh, humanoid, uh, take us to your leader kind of UFOs, uh, aliens. Um, which, once again, if you watch it in any other movie, it's just like, it's almost tacky. <coughs> but because this is the era, it's like, yeah, that's what aliens were! Because he gets the suit, um, he's able to, like, the doctor, Dr. Mumbai is able to be like, uh, Ah, well, because of this electromagnetic science talk, science talk, I'll, I should be able to make a weapon to fuck these things up. He doesn't use that language. In like the nine days before the, the, the aliens come, they send out a message and basically say like, yo, check out your son. Uh, we're gonna fuck up your son. And sure enough, you, like, they don't destroy the sun, but like, um, they shoot a beam at the sun, which like fucking takes a big chunk out of it. So it's like nine days before the, the invasion. Uh, we start getting all these like environmental problems and shit, like our fucking tidal waves go all fucked up and our weather's going to shit and stuff, so like they're, they're playing dirty. They're playing dirty. Uh, eventually, obviously, attack day comes and it, it's fucking brilliant, eh? Because it's like they're using the uh, the old World War II like attack sound, you know that? I've got a cold right now, I can't. That. You know, you're like, oh shit, it's happening. 
and it's just chaos, eh? It's just UFOs flying around. They've got like the little ray guns that come out the bottom that's like the little satellite dish. You know, like, just everything sci-fi. Like stereotype sci-fi 101 and it's like just sitting there <laughs> blowing fuck out of buildings. Like I can't express how how good the explosions feel and how good the destruction of buildings is. Um, and I, this is the thing, I, because of the black and white, you really don't know what's a model and what's like archive footage sort of thing. Um, and then you've obviously they've got these ray guns that are now made with the electros that Dr. Homeboy's made to like counteract them, but you've also got the military just with classic like artillery, and it's just the it's yo, it's it's fa fantastic. You know, like you're seeing all these famous like U.S. buildings because that's the thing. It's like even when like they use the ray gun to take down the the saucers. They're still crashing, and there's one particular scene that's shot that's brilliant. It was like there's a big government building. They show the the saucer crashing into it, but then they cut to like the inside of a of the building with people going ah, whilst the saucer's like blowing up behind. Which, man, for fifty six, amazing. And it's like the kind of it kind of just ends, you know. They get they get the last one, it's gone, and then it cuts to Doctor Homeboy and his wife on the beach. Like she's all like. Do you think they'll ever come back again? It's like, who knows? All I know is that we have today and we have tomorrow. Walk off into the sunset shit. It's just like, the end! It's just like, <laughs> boom, yes. Money's, mo <laughs> money's worth got, like, you know? Ah, oh, oh, yeah, brilliant movie. Like, I keep alluding to it, it's like, I love the 50s aesthetic, you know? I hate to use this as the reference, but it, it's got that fallout look. Obviously, because fallout used this aesthetic from the 50s. But you know, like, the cars are all kind of like, them kind of like cars of the future, sort of Cadillac-y looking things and stuff. Um, and then it's at this point, I suppose all I can say is Ray Harryhausen, what an absolute legend. Cause like obviously he's stop motion animating the saucer spinning around, which by the way, just anytime they're on screen and there's no shortage of it, like they're not always attacking, but anytime they're on screen, it's like, it's like the noise is making and stuff. The menacing, you know, you're like, and what are they waiting to do? Are they waiting to do? It's like sometimes they say, like, fuck you. Um, nah, it's it's awesome. Um, and Harryhausen, not only did he stop most of them going around like that, but he also, like the strings, he painted every string for every frame as it was going on the background, which, see if it's just like a blue and cloudy background for the sky, then it's like, okay, yeah, that's still pretty impressive. But he's doing this over like stock footage of like, Airplanes and fucking battleships and stuff. He's painting every string, and it's it's seamless, like absolutely astonishing. One of my favourite all-time bits in it is like, and um, there's a bit where the saucer is flying whilst there's an American attack ship, and it's it's a, it's a splice between the American attack ship real footage, the saucer being spliced over top of it, then footage of people shooting the artillery gun at it. And then by the time like its little ray gun comes out the bottom and goes like Brrr! shoots into it, the way like they put the ray gun effect into what is obviously footage of this like American big ass military plane exploding, like it's like Wow! <laughs> you know, it's so so good. But nah, all in all, I'm giving this a big old thumbs up. Like if you like sci-fi, if you like old sci-fi, if you like that Fallout aesthetic or that Futurama aesthetic, if you like old sci-fi pop art, um, if you like old UFOs and stuff, like if you like any of that shit, you owe it to yourself, to, you owe it to yourself to watch this flick. Uh, peace out. Do you wanna, are you